Hey everybody, it's uh, Angry Enemy Fan 2 here to bring you the Torico chapter 220. Well, this, uh, the, this chapter starts with the chefs all preparing for battle and the uh, Buranche, sorry, and the Buran, Buranchi preparing. And uh, Satsuno looks worried at the. Uh, well, technically, the last chapter we saw Saos. Uh, lying down and burning like he was unconscious or whatever and now it appears that he has died I mean we don't see him anymore we don't even see his corpse we only see a little a is that ashes of where his body was so now I'm wondering th th did he die? well elsewhere the gourmet hermit of the Serobistope says it's preparing and we also see that guy I think his name was Kuribo one other of the steroids so we, there's still no explaining why he is there but we have a we it's gotta be because someone is corrupt either that, that he is corrupt or maybe the gourmet hermit is corrupt and Kuribo is there to catch him off guard no idea or he is just extra reinforcement uh, Toriko continues his fight with Stargion and he mentions to Starion that the, the, the attacks he did to Starion should not have done much damage. But I think Starion still praises them. After that, well, this is really not necessary to talk about uh, because it can be pretty summarized pretty quickly. Toriko go mad with the 50 Ren nail punch. I thought it, I thought it was nail gun, but I guess it's another attack. And then he does twin 50 nail gun and leg boomerang and cannon fork. I mean, he goes wild. Starjan doesn't even fight back. Can, can he fight back? Either way, he pushes Starjan very far away, way out of the stadium, and continues to uh, f punch him far away until they reach mountains. How long have they traveled exactly? Well, what is sure is Toriko has now successfully managed to push Stadion to a place where the stadium is not and uh, where he, they can go as wild as they want. And after that, well, some of Clo uh, Stadion's clothes is a little ripped, but his helmet called Shiva Hamlet, apparently it should be noted to be very strong. Breaks the and uh, Stardion cocks up blood, cough, cough, cough up blood. Stardion praises uh, Toriko, saying that he is impressed with his attacks or whatever. And uh, Stardion uh, now Toriko smiles and says, "Now let's enjoy our battle to our heart content." Stardion agrees, because this is a battle between two wild beasts. They both show off their intimidational spirits. I must say, so we have seen Stardew's intimidational sp sp spirit before, but now at least it looks a lot different than when I saw it before. One Cyclops with mouth open. Either way, I think now Stardew will get serious. Elsewhere, Mansan has surprisingly defeated a lot of GT robots, but now he says something that makes me worried. He says to them, Bishukai to hurry and defeat him and before the knocking uh, because he has used certain kind of knockings to expand his muscles before it wears off because if it wears off then he won't be then he then you can't stop him does that mean he will go in a mildless rage or that when it wears off he will get just as powerful as you can stop him with a GT robot well he has used knocking before but uh, he has always stopped him, so I wondered, is it that he is out of control if he wears up knocking? And we still have no idea why the second zero taupe is there. It's gotta be some kind of corruption. And what happened to Zeus? Saus? He probably died. What if maybe he was dying and that's why he chose to die? <laughs> maybe that's why he said to lave for the new generation. It's useless to talk about. Now, that's this chapter. Let's just say that Toriko was mad. 
nothing really well it was nice to see Toruko fighting but still not maybe not that impressive but uh, it wasn't bad either it was okay and we'll see if the fight will get more uh, awesome later on we still do not know what happens to the other two heavenly kings fights that's all for this chapter see you next time